Hi Doctor, we are from Group 6. Today we would like to present our project in the Integrated Design Project with the code ECH 3705. Let me introduce myself. My name is Vashni Nadraja with matrix number 198253. Let me proceed with the introduction part. So the main objective of this project is to produce ethylene from shale gas with 99.99% of purity of ethylene. Then to produce 1500 ton per year of 99.99% of ethylene. That is equivalent to 173.4 metric ton per year of feedstock from purified shale gas along with the pure oxygen. The process we used for this project is the oxidative coupling of methane, which is also known as ECM. It is a direct conversion of natural gas that primarily consisting of methane and other hydrocarbons that will produce ethylene. I would like to emphasize something else. The bottom product of C2 will be then recycled to the ocean reactor. So this video presentation will cover process description, recycle, distillation columns, equipment sizing, economic analysis and then the last part will be the conclusion. So for the process description, there will be three series of strings which is divided to section A, section B and section C to be entering the same vector. For the section A, the first unit will be the S separation unit which is also known as ASU is to eliminate nitrogen from the combustion process. 0.999 percentage of nitrogen is stored in the storage tank because if nitrogen flow out in the stream, it might cause unwanted problems like it can be toxic to the surroundings. So the next unit will be the isothermal compressor which is to increase the pressure from 1 bar to 5 bar. Stream 4 with only 0.0088 percentage of nitrogen and the rest with oxygen it flows to the next unit which is the preheater. For the preheater one, it, just like its name, it, it is a tool used to heat the air before use. Additionally, this preheater will impose and strengthen the combustion beside strengthening the heat transfer. This preheater will increase the temperature up to 650 degrees Celsius. For the section B, the first unit will be the compressor which is needed to push the shale gas to the pressure relief valve, then to preheater. This compressor pushes the air more and more, thereby increasing the pressure. It works at 26 degrees Celsius and 26 bar with a mass flow of 1702.06 kg per hour. So the next unit will be the pressure relief valve 1. This safety valve is used to regularly or restrict the system pressure, otherwise pressures can build up and trigger a method, instrument or device, failure fire. This pressure relief valve one will reduce the pressure from 26 bar to 5 bar. Next unit will be the preheater 2 which is to increase the temperature rises from 26 degrees Celsius to 650 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile the preheating doesn't affect the pressure so the pressure will remain constant as 5 bar. My name is Nofarani Intasura Mentiri Zaman and my metric number is 196640. So I will continue to talk about the process description or oxidative coupling of methane which is OCM reactor. So basically, in this reactor actually have to transform from methane into ethane, ethylene and other hydrocarbons. So the fit for this OCM reactor I actually have Purified shell gas and pure oxygen that from that we that we gain from the air suppression unit, and then the product for this uh, oxidative coupling methane, which is oxygen reactor, is actually ethylene. The desired the desired product is ethylene, and other desired product is other hydrocarbons and nitrogen. So, uh, the units of ethane is 0 0.0012 and the ratio of water and methane is 0 0.90 and then ratio of carbon dioxide and methane is 0 0.45 and the conversion of methane is 0 0.45 next we have the chemical we have a four chemical equation for this process in this reactor so first we have uh, methane and oxygen become 
carbon dioxide and water and its fractional conversion is 0 0.20 next we have uh, methane and oxygen become ethane and water and its fractional conversion is 0 0.25 and then we have um, we have ethane become ethylene and hydrogen and its fractional conversion is 0 0.70 and the last one, we have a carbon monoxide and water become carbon dioxide and hydrogen. And its fractional conversion, fractional conversion is 0 0.90. Next, we have quench tower. Quench tower is basically is a cooling process. Uh, so uh, there's a heat removal through contact of heat, uh, such as expansion of gas, heat exchange to a cooler fluid system and evaporation of liquid. And then uh, for inlet, the pressure and temperature for inlet of quench tower is uh, at 950 degrees Celsius and and five bar. An outlet of stream of uh, this quench tower, uh, the temperature is 150 degrees Celsius and 5 bar. For the more, we have multi stage compressor and it works to increase pressure as well as remove water. And it removes 100% water and it consists of three stages. Next, uh, there's a two carbon dioxide absorber, and for the first one, basically this carbon dioxide absorber have to remove carbon dioxide from raw material, and it consists of two unit, uh, which is carbon dioxide amine absorber and amine regenerator, and both of these unit uh, have to absorb ninety percent of carbon dioxide to remove. And then the type of amine that it used is monoethanol amide, which is MEA. Same goes to the CO2 absorber too. Uh, it has the same purpose as carbon dioxide absorber one. Uh, it just uh, the difference is um, it have to remove that the all the left of carbon dioxide that left from the uh, previous carbon dioxide absorber you just have to remove all the carbon dioxide that left from the previous unit next we have the demethanizer demethanizer is have to separate methane as an overhead component from heavier component uh, such as ethane uh, and ethylene so we have a light key and heavy key. The light key is the methane with 99% recovery in the distillate. And heavy key, uh, which is ethylene. And then uh, the reflect ratio for this equipment is negative 1.2. And it operates at 200 degree and 35 bar. Uh, next. We have pressure relief valve and the purpose is to, uh, to decrease, uh, to regulate or limit the machine pre pressure. We also have C2 splitter. C2 splitter, the feed of C2 splitter only contains of ethylene and ethane. And the overhead component which is the light key is ethylene and the bottom component uh, which is heavy key is ethane and then the outlet of C2 splitter is 99.99% purified ethylene that, that's that we need and then the bottom product of C2 splitter uh, to be recycled to SCM we also have a pressure relief of 3 uh, the purpose is same which is to decrease the pressure before entering the OCM and negative 0. Point, negative 1.05.4 degree Celsius leads to the inlet stream 
of Prehita 3. I need a Prehita 3. Prehita is have to preheat the component that needed to be recycled up to 650 degrees Celsius. Good morning, Dr. Hamdan. My name is Steven Nanzabrianas Kutad and I am going to discuss about the recycling part for the uh, OCM production from Shell Gas. For part A, Stream 27, also known as heavy key components, comprises of ethylene and ethane. These two organic compounds will be needed to go through a pressure reducer valve unit in order to reduce the pressure with no change of temperature. Step 2. As the stream 27 enters the pressure reducer valve, the component's pressure reduces to its desired amount from 15 bar to 5 bar. Subsequently, it is required for the stream 28 to enter the heater unit due to the fact that OCM reactor operates at 950 degrees Celsius and 5 bar. Thus, no change in mass due to its steady state and non-reactive unit. Step 3. Meanwhile, on a heater unit, the heating presence of ethylene and ethane would have small fraction of pressure expansion. Having said that, it is negligible due to its insignificant increase of pressure. Furthermore, the temperature rises into 950 degrees Celsius with no change in mass due to its non-reactive unit. Lastly, on part A, before entering on the OCM reactor unit, stream 29, also known as recycling stream, would undergo to a mixing process with stream 8. Eventually, a fresh feed would change into processing feed. Moreover, processing of calculating the recycling stream will be shown below. For part B, the recycling the recycled components such as ethane and ethylene from heater unit will be added to respective initial flow rates of purified shale gas feed. As you can see, there are two um, boxes which has a column of initial flow rate and recycled flow rate and also final flow rate column. Each total amount of this composition shall be listed in a final flight column and summed up having a total of 71.091 kmol per hour. For step 2, in the assumptions flight column, per row has been set to 10 kmol per hour as this is the basis for the next procedure. Then, each row in the final flight column had been subtracted to the, the, to the assigned basis of assumption flow rates respectively. As a result, the differences of every composition have been squared and obtained the total amount of differences squared flow rate column. This is because uh, in order to reduce the small uh, differences or small uh, numbers uh, for the difference flow rate when we subtract the assumption flow rate and final flow rate. For step 3, to access the solver add-ins, a solver should be added in a data tab at the top right position. Afterwards, click the solver icon and then set the objective by clicking the total amount of different Square flow rate, as shown here on the um, red uh, red box, and then click the value of and set to zero. Step four. Click the by changing variable cells by selecting the column of assumption flow rates accordingly and click solve. For step 5, 
As a result, the solver will program itself by making the difference flow rate and differences squared flow rate column into zeros along with its total flow rate respectively. Hence, the assumptions flow rate column will be the new feed which also called as a processing feed or, or also called as stream 30 and the new ma and the new mass balance would be required as it will be entering in the OCM unit. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Iqmal Hazi bin Karal Anwar, matric number 199078. So today I'm going to continue the explanation in our IDP project which is unit operation part. So unit that we choose for the selection column is C2 splitter. C2 splitter is binary unit which split ethylene from other components. Uh, there are four assumptions that we state which is firstly equilibrium reboiler, next total condenser, uh, constant relative volatility and lastly constant molar overflow. So here is the property and parameters uh, for our C2 splitter unit. So firstly uh, 18 numbers of trays uh, 375 mmHg for top pressure and for bottom pressure is 900.074 mmHg. Uh, next, for top dew point temperature, we use negative 0. negative 105.4 degrees Celsius and for bottom bubble point temperature is negative 9.98.2 degrees Celsius. Uh, next, for recti rectifying section, we have 12 uh, strays and for stripping sections, 6 strays including reboiler. Uh, next, for reflux ratio, we, we get 1.07515 and next height of column is 9.9093 meters after that diameter of column 0 0.47 meters and column of area is column area is 0 0.1735 meters square okay next uh, for feed flow rate uh, in our situs splitter uh, it is 15.58 km per hour. Uh, next for outlet stream, uh, top product uh, top product flow rate is 13.25 km per hour, uh, and for bottom product is 2.33 km per hour. Um, after that, liquid flow at top column is 12.5871, and then at vapor flow at top column is 24.2944. Next, for liquid flow at bottom column is 25.44 and lastly, for vapor flow at bottom column, we get 24.5628. Next, hole pitch at our unit is 0 0.0125 meters. And then, uh, for our unit uh, distillation column, we have sieve type uh, for plate. And the material is mild steel. Um, then thickness of plate is five millimeters. Uh, overall plate efficiency is sixty-five point eight nine percent, which is quite high. And then plate spacing is zero point two five meter. Wear length zero point three six one nine meter. Wear height forty-eight millimeters. Column diameter is zero point four seven meter, and column area is. 0 0.1735 meter square uh, and for down common area is 0 0.0208 meter square then uh, for net area 0 0.15727 meter square uh, and active area is 0 0.1319 meter square next for perforated area is we get 0 0.0660 meter square um, and then at our uh, unit, we have 5 millimeters of hole diameter. Uh, for hole area is 0 0.000196 millimeter square, which is quite small. Uh, then for number of holes per plate uh, is 671.3629. For resident time, it takes 8.847 seconds. And lastly, plate pressure drop is 0 
103.7747 mm. Uh, the explanation has been stated in our report uh, to make it more understandable. Thank you. Hi, so today I'm going to continue uh, for our IDP project which is economic analysis. So there are four main parts for costing. Uh, and as you can see uh, in the table, there are 12 major and minor units, one shale gas tank, one ethylene tank, 50 pumps and 200 valves and pipes. Uh, so in total, which is uh, 1,053,396 ringgit Indonesia. Next, for capital cost, there are two parts, which is fixed capital and working capital. Uh, fixed part, uh, which fixed capital is ISBL, OSBL, engineering and construction, and lastly, contains of contingency. Uh, for, so uh, total for uh, fixed and working capital, uh, we consume eight million three hundred sixty-two thousand uh, ninety-eight ringgit Malaysia. Next, for operating cost, uh, this part is raw material price. Raw material price is uh, consists uh, in variable cost. There are two parts, which is variable and fixed cost. So raw material price is uh, on uh, variable cost. So uh, for there are two uh, raw material that we use, which is shell gas and MEA, which is amine. Uh, so uh, as we can see in the table, uh, shell gas uh, have low price, which is uh, nine hundred fifty six ringgit Malaysia. Uh, for high price is one thousand one hundred eighty eight ringgit Malaysia. So after we multiply with our uh, inlet stream, uh, which is our uh, raw material that we use for our plant, so in one year we will get we will consume ten thousand ten million six hundred sixty seven thousand forty ringgit, and for high price is thirteen million two hundred fifty three thousand and thirty ringgit Malaysia. So for MEA. Uh, the price is 1,250 USD per metric ton. So if we multiply the uh, with our consume uh, for amine in our plant, so in one year we will consume 1.22 multiplied by 10 power of 12 ringgit Malaysia per year. So uh, as what I I have said just now, there are Variable cost and fixed cost. So variable cost is uh, raw, consists of raw material that I have uh, explained just now. And one more thing is utilities. Utilities is our power that we use uh, for our plant. Electricity. So um, uh, the cost for utilities is 64,772,458 ringgit Malaysia. And for fixed cost is uh, 20% of our capital cost that I have explained just now in uh, in last slide uh, is we consume 1,672,419 ringgit Malaysia. So if we total up the variable and fixed cost, we will consume 1.2239 uh, multiplied by 10 power of 14 ringgit Malaysia per year. Okay, for the last part is cash flow analysis. Okay, uh, before that I will explain uh, the revenue that we get uh, by selling our ethylene which is our product. So in market, uh, ethylene price is 4,818 ringgit for min uh, minimum price and 6,704 ringgit Malaysia for maximum price. So if we multiply the product that we produce uh, in our plant so in one year we will get 30,418,272 ringgit Malaysia for minimum sales and for maximum sales is uh, 42,321,074 ringgit Malaysia so here is our 
graph uh, on our cash flow in company uh, for 20 years so as you can see in the graph the graph is declining uh, which is uh, it which is our cumulative cash flow will decrease from year 1 to year 20 this is this issue because is happen because our raw material is too expensive uh, than our product uh, so the cost will be much higher than our uh, revenue that we get by selling our ethylene so this issue uh, will cause the cash flow of our company is uh, decreasing by time to time thank you in conclusion we can conclude that ethylene has a high demand in this industry especially in chemical industry and the polyethylene is extremely produced using ethylene furthermore ethylene is also used in uh, agricultural practices to ripen fruits germination of the seed in Moreover, in the sustainability, in as aspect of sustainability, this is a profitable in economical wise. In aspect of environment, ever, environmental, um, it is not much hazardous and harmful substance is used in production of ethylene. And Lastly, the government rules are implemented in the disposal of waste products in order to maintain a balanced ecosystem. That's all. Thank you.